Hey guys, welcome back. ton of plus size fashion videos just like this one all the time here on my channel I also have a bunch of other lifestyle content mommy content beauty content all that type of stuff so if any of that strikes your fancy I would absolutely love it if you hit that subscribe button down below or hit that like button or left me a comment or interacted any way with my channel it means the world to me and I so so appreciate it and if you haven't already you should follow me on Instagram at Sarah England and today's video is going to be kind of a mishmash giant haul video. In my last uh, plus size try on haul, I asked you guys where you wanted me to shop for my next haul. And I got a lot of different um, answers and a lot of different just ideas of certain things to try and things like that. So I decided just to like kind of dabble into a bunch of them and kind of see what I liked. Um, so I purchased from a bunch of different stores and I'm just about to share it all with you. So I have stuff here from Walmart, Torrid, and Rue 21. Despite what I currently look like, the majority of this stuff is really summery and fun and bright and really pretty and just easy to throw on and wear. I had a number of requests for you guys to do um, kind of summer dresses. I think I'm gonna make just a whole video dedicated to dresses, but there are a number of dresses in here that are just really cute and really easy to throw on. Um, I've just been, it's been constantly raining here all the time it's like i moved to the pacific northwest which if you told that to my 18 year old self it would have been like the best time of my life but now i've adapted and i've, I've grown and i've also realized now that i have children being out in the rain and like it's just it's not fun so but that being said i've also gotten to like such a reading mode guys i know this is not relevant but um if you need a good series to read, like you need to escape into another world from Blood and Ash is incredible. I posted it, um, like a little snippet of me reading it the other day and I got so many DMs from you guys saying that you were obsessed with it too. And guys, it's like, ah, uh, it's all I wanna do now. I just wanna read everything again. I've missed reading so much, so I'm setting up a little nook so we see some little lights over there. It's kind of going crazy, but I'm just, I'm in a reading mode, which has also kind of made me into this weird, like, vampy mode. So I'm, like, having dark makeup and clothes and stuff. But I promise you, this haul is all summery and fun. But I'm just, like, I'm now ready for fall. I'm just, like, let's just move on. Let's just move on. I'm here. I'm ready. I just want to be all Halloween-y. <laughs> anyway. All right. So one of you in my last videos hated the way that I formatted my try-ons, but we're trying to make work a little bit better all right so I'm gonna put the try-on portion right here and then I'll hold up the item right here so you can kind of have a, a little twofer okay all right so um, we're just gonna start with Walmart and then we'll work our way through the other brands so the first thing I have from Walmart is this dress this is from Tara and Skye um, and Tara and Sky is, I think, just an exclusive plus size range with Walmart. I do not think that they have another plus size range. I may be wrong. A lot of their lines do do extended uh, sizes like Time and True and No Boundaries and Scoop and all that stuff. They do have extended sizing, which is awesome. But I think Tara and Sky is the only exclusive plus size line there. I definitely will say that I feel like Tara and Sky is hit or miss for me. Sometimes I absolutely love everything that I get or items that I get, and sometimes I really don't. I also will say that I feel like it runs. Um, on the larger size and so I typically size down one or stay true to size it just kind of depends but I don't ever feel like it runs small which is nice but it's just kind of hard to gauge so this first dress I'm going to show you definitely runs on the larger side um, it is this basic little shift dress it looks like this it hits just about above my knees it's really lightweight super flowy really perfect for summertime it comes in a bunch of different patterns and um, prints I just don't love it on me. I will say that one, it is in a 1X, which is a 16, 18, and I definitely, that's my category I normally fit into, you know, just depending on the day, depending on the season of my life, depending on if we're in a global pandemic, all right? That number starts extending a little bit when we're in a global pandemic, but you know, I'm still pretty true 16. <laughs> anyway, but I will say that this does run larger, so I would have sized down to the 0X, which is like the 14 um, in Terra and Sky. So keep that in mind, I would not size up. I'd either get your true to size or size down. And I just don't know, I just don't love it on me. I just feel like it doesn't do anything for my figure. I feel like maybe if I did size down, it would look a little bit better. If I were to keep this dress, 
I would get a belt, cinch it at the waist, and kind of add a little bit of shape by that. I think this could look very cute in the fall though. I feel like with a belt, with some tights, with a cardigan, like this is a really good layering piece because it's not super, super heavy. Um, it definitely is opaque enough, like you're not gonna see your panties or anything underneath this or through this, um, but it's not heavy. It also does have pockets, which is nice. I do like the like tortoise kind of shell buttons in the front. They do, um, they are functional. I guess I just don't love the fit on me. I feel like I should have sized down and I, I think I would have gone with a different print. This just makes me think of like mayo, or mayo, mustard, but not in a good way. Like I love mustard yellow, but it's like with the brown, it's just too, it's like bold neutral. I don't know. I don't know. It's just not for me. I think I'm going to take it back. I'm really trying to be more intentional about the stuff that I keep um, and not just buy a whole bunch of stuff and then like never wear it. I'm trying to be really intentional about it, but I do like to show you guys what I, you know, is in the store and stuff like that. And so if stuff that doesn't work for me, I'm taking it back. I'm not just going to keep it. So I'm probably going to take this one back. But that's just to say that like maybe if I were to size down, I might have loved it or if I got a different print. So it's not a bad dress by any means. It's just not for me. All right. Moving on to another Tear and Sky item, one that I absolutely did love, and it is just a basic. I feel like basics are super popular right now, and they're always popular, but I feel like it's just like a solid piece that people are wearing now. It's just like that is your outfit, which I love because it's so easy. This one is a V-neck peplum style top. It's high-low. It's really comfortable. It's just a basic kind of cotton V-neck. It goes down. I This type of V-neck where they have like the thicker little like... V right here makes me think of like early 2005, 2004, where like you would wear like three different colored camis and then the v-neck on top of it and gaucho pants. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Give me all those vibes. <laughs> um, it's really stretchy, really comfortable. I love the flowy peplum. That is all. That's, that's my favorite. It's um, kind of unfinished at the hem on the bottom. Super cute, super easy. For me, this is like my quintessential mom thing. This is what I like to wear when I'm running errands, when I just need to like get out and do stuff and I'm not trying to look super put together or perfect. This is just easy to throw on with some leggings and some neat sneakers and go. I love that about it. Now this, I did size down into the 0X. I would have probably stuck with this one. I might have sized up, um, but it wasn't, it was, it's fine. It's fine. I'm happy with this one. But I mean, if I did size up, I don't think it would have been the end of the world. Um, this was $13.94. Um, but I think I actually got it on sale for like nine bucks or something like that. So cute. I like it. I recommend it. They do have other colors. All right, next we have a pair of shorts. So these are from No Boundaries and this is the plus um, range from No Boundaries. And honestly, everything's junior sizes. So I just guessed and I got the right size. They're probably, they're kind of, I don't know. I don't really know how to describe the fit on these things. It's hard with no boundaries because my body is not a junior anymore. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I got these pants, these shorts, and I think one, they're friggin' adorable. Um, they have a bunch of colors. I got them in black and they're faded, ripped, distressed, fringed shorts. They're super stretchy, really comfortable. Because they are so stretchy, there's not a whole lot of like support up in the tummy like it's not gonna sink you in or anything if you got a like a mommy tummy or a fupa or what have you like i do it's not gonna give you a whole lot of support there but it's stretchy so it's you know it's like a compromise i love the fringe at the bottom it's kind of like lower in the back so it covers like that little that little chunk of thigh that i got back there that i'm not super confident about um it does come with a belt all the belts are different depending on the color that you get this is in a size 23 like i said i have no idea really what that relates to as far as like women's sizing goes i just made a guess and we went with it this isn't the largest size but it's not the smallest size so i honestly we're just gonna i just guessed um i like it so um i think they're really cute they're really comfortable if you're looking for a good short like that doesn't come to a close at the end why does that make sense you know it has like a band or rolled i feel like that just like squeezes my thigh like a gosh darn um sausage you know it's not cute it doesn't look good on me i love ones that are kind of just cut and jut out and just flowy so they're just comfortable and this is perfect for that because they do that i love the fringe it's so fun and so intense i feel like it looks so 
gosh darn cute um, and it is stitched on top of the fringe so it's not going to keep like ripping all the way up at least it doesn't look like that it would do that they're really adorable these were $14.88 so I feel like a really awesome price for them a bunch of different colors I just happen to love the black they make me think of just going to outdoor summer concerts which I am just hoping and praying to God that there is a good band coming in town because I have missed concerts like nobody's business and I'm so ready to go back to a concert all right, so we're moving on. <laughs> we're moving on to Route 21. That was everything that I got from Walmart, so not a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but we'll just move on, okay? All right, so the next item that I have is from Route 21. I haven't shopped there in a hot minute, but I decided to um, go and check it out, check and see what they got. So I first, I found this top, which I think is so pretty. Again, that like soft girl, cottage girl, vibe i feel like is so big right now so i have just all these like peasant style tops i love this one i think it's so pretty it's this beautiful dusty rose color with all these like tiny little daisies on it um and then it's smocked up in the chest area but the cut is really cool because the cut is kind of like it um it comes to like almost like a sweetheart, but not quite. It's a little bit more angular, but it's not square. I don't know. I think it looks super cool. You could easily wear this off the shoulders if you like. I will probably wear it on the shoulders. The uh, sleeves are nice and poofy. There's a lot of volume there, and there's a nice bit of elasticity around like your arms. So this should help if you have bigger arms. I feel like there's a lot of extra room up here, which is really nice, especially because this fabric doesn't have any stretch in it. So there is a lot of stretch, obviously, with the smocking and then the arms but everywhere else like down here there's not a whole lot of stretch um i did get this in a 2x this is from jolie and joy it's not actually from the rue 21 line um and it's made in india i feel like i got something from my girls from this line i might have i guess that's not i don't know it just looks familiar anyway um i'm happy with this size i think it looks really nice it's not too big it's not too small this is probably the size i would keep um at least for this particular item the sizing kind of gets kind of wonky at Route 21 i feel like i was all over the gamut with that um but for this particular one i'm glad i went with the 2x so if you're typically like a 16 18 i would go with the 2x rather than the 1x um but to each his own to each is your body type anyway I like it. I think it's really cute. It'll be really adorable with just some jeans and some wedges or some sandals for like an easy breezy date night summer look or whatnot. What have you, whatever you're doing with your life now, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with, however you're living, it's a good top for it. <laughs> All right, next summer dress. So I got this little number. This is um, also from Rue 21. This is actually from the Rue 21 line. So the Rue 21 plus line. Um, and it's this really pretty, once again, kind of that dusty terracotta rose color. Um, and this one is a long maxi. So it's really pretty. It's like that crepey, gauzy fabric. Um, it's nice and flowy. And it is kind of like a deep V on both sides with the straps being this kind of crochet lace. Um, and then through each of like kind of layered and then has that little lace peeking through. Now, the sides are nice and it's kind of different than I've seen. They are adjustable so you can adjust and tie tighter each side. And then they have like little tassels and stuff. It's super boho, really, really pretty. They have a similar one that makes me think of Bridgerton, which I probably should have gotten, but I'm trying to get away from my Bridgerton obsession at the moment. Um, and it's like bright blue with like pink flowers and it's really pretty too. I just happen to love like the boho hippie mama vibes that I get from this one. Um, that being said, it is very large up here. You guys will see in the try on. It's very large in the bust area, which is kind of surprising because more often than not, things are small in the bust area for me. I have a pretty large bust. It's a 38H. Um, and it is just way too large, at least on the sides right here, like right here. I just can't, it's just, it's very gapy. Um, and the waist was really large too, but when I adjusted it and tied it as tight as I can, I feel like that looks really good. The only issue is that as it gets lower, there's no stretch and give. So like it goes over my butt nice, but I got a large donk. So like if I size down, I feel like it would be too clingy to my butt, but then maybe fit better up here. I just feel like it's uneven proportion for my body. So I definitely, I got a 2X in this, so I definitely, it's like if I size down, I don't know how it would fit on my tummy or my bottom, but up top, it's too big. So that's how I feel about that. Um, I like it, but I just don't feel like I can make the sides work enough for me. 
Um, so I may try on if they have it in store when I do return these to see if they do have a smaller size because I do really like it. I think it's really pretty. It's really flattering. I feel like for so many different skin tones. And it'll be just such a nice, easy summer dress. But as of right now, it's going back. Um, yeah, as of right now, it's going back. But once again, it's just your body type. I feel like this was kind of like a hit or miss thing for me this time. Normally I have a lot more hits, but some things, some things were just wonky on the size chart. And that's okay. All right, next thing I have is in this other top from Rue21's line. And I feel like what's all the rage right now are all of the um, bandana kind of scarf style tops. So this is like a similar one. Looks like this, it has a bunch of marbling to it. It's really pretty. Um, they have a bunch of different colors. I love like the marble tie-dye of it. I love anything tie-dye. You guys should know that. Um, and it, you can adjust the neck, it's halter, so it ties around here and you can adjust it by, if you wanna have it a bit wider or a bit skinnier, just depending. Um, and then it's completely backless. Like it is completely backless. It does tie down here at the bottom. Um, and I would have to wear that, probably most people would have to wear this with like a bralette or a bandeau. It is really, really thin. So there is no chance in heck I could get away without a bra on this thing. Like I would probably get called on for public indecency by the police officers or something. Like I would be going to jail. It's just, there's no way I could get away with this bad boy. <laughs> but that being said, I still think it's really cute. Um, especially with like a bralette or a bandeau or something like that i feel like is adorable it would look and i think i did style it with these like the shorts once again perfect like summer concert um vibe i just think that i would size down in this one so this is a 2x i just feel like it's a little bit too gapey a little bit too flowy um on the sides and doesn't do a whole lot for my figure so i think i would size down that being said, it is 100% rayon, so never mind. I would just wash this and we'd see where we're at. So, um, like I said, really, really thin. It's very cute, it's very on trend, but you're not gonna get a lot of longevity out of this, and so that's a concern for me at the moment. So, um, I think it's adorable, I think it's fun, but I would size down or wash it. All right, so this next thing, I feel like everything from 21 was kind of a miss besides my first shirt. I'm kind of sad now that I'm saying this. This next item I freaking love, okay? And you guys are gonna be like, are you kidding? I just, oh. So it's My Little Pony tie-dye um, shirt. <laughs> it's it has like glitter all over it it is super rainbow and pastel and very bright i just saw this and i loved it so my girls absolutely if you watch my channel for long enough you guys know that they love my little pony and if you watched my video last time yet yeah, for my last video which is my kids um clothing haul i think i showed this to you guys in there this is so cute it's so fun um it makes me so so happy this is like perfect with biker shorts which i do have a pair to show you guys in this haul um it's just easy breezy you know the only thing is these definitely in my opinion run a bit on the smaller size so this is a 2x and while it fits and there's still some you know it's not like skin tight or snug or anything i just want it to be more oversized and i thought that was like the vibe i was getting was more of like a boyfriend oversized shirt and it's not i feel like this is a pretty normal size t-shirt so i would size up i am going to size up in this one because i love it so much and it's 100 percent cotton so it is probably going to shrink so that being said though, I adore it. I think it's so cute. It's so fun for the summertime. It's hit or miss for some people. I know some people are like, no thank you. But for me, I just think it's fun. All right, moving on to Torrid. I love Torrid. I haven't shopped at Torrid for a minute. I was super excited. And it's just, they always come through. You know, they always come through. So first things first with Torrid, I'm sharing you these because I shared in, I think, my last video about biker shorts, and I got a couple questions about which biker shorts I recommend and where to find some. Biker shorts right now, I tried to order like multiple different pairs off of Rue 21, Walmart, Forever 21, and somewhere else, and everything sold out so fast. Like, biker shorts are just gonna be everywhere this summer, I think. Um, but I found these on Torrid, and oh my gosh, 
First off, they have a really nice wide band up at the top. I thought these were gonna be the similar ones to the leggings that I have. They're like really popular leggings, which I love, but I feel like run a tiny bit snug. Um, these don't, these are fine. I probably actually could have sized down to the one. I did get a two in these. Um, but there's a nice wide band, which just makes them really nice and high waist. So they're just basic, you know, at first you're just like, oh look, a nice pair of black biker shorts. They're nice and opaque, like you don't see any panties or anything through them. But the bottom, the bottom is mesh and they have stars. I just think you can't, can you see any of that? Probably not. You'll see in the try on haul, but they're so cute. I just thought these were so fun and so unique because they weren't like a big, bright, bold pattern or color or anything, but they still had a little bit of fun down here. I love them. These were so cute. So I was I'm just pumped. I'm, I was pumped. These were $25.50, but I think I got them on sale for like $19. Um, they're really nice biker shorts. I mean, biker shorts, for whatever reason, can be really expensive, but there are some ones from Walmart that I highly recommend to that are similar, and they're from Athletic Works. I mean, they don't have the cute mesh, but they're just basic, and they're from Athletic Works, and they're like 9 bucks on Walmart. So um, if you're looking for biker shorts and you just want basic ones, that's where I would suggest to go. Otherwise, if you want some little, little fancy check these out because I love them all right so this next item is also from Torrid and it it with all the rest of them from Torrid I don't know what I'm thinking and, but it is um, this really beautiful black acid washed um, dress I forgot what this is called the little cut right here you know what I'm saying where it kind of curves and then goes into a deep V um, I feel like they bring out similar like cuts every year of this dress with the fabric changes. I love this fabric. Like black acid wash is my jam. I think it's super cute. It's really, really soft, really nice and lightweight, perfect for summer. It actually is a pretty is pretty long. I do believe it goes over my knees. Um, and I'm five five. So it's definitely, I feel like, a really good option for you taller ladies who are looking for a little bit more coverage on your legs um, as, for, as far as, like, for a shorter dress. Um, there are pockets because why wouldn't there be? Because it's great. Um, it's just really cute. It's just a really nice little dress. It does, it's a zipper, so you can go, you know, zip it on down, zip it on up. Um, I would have sized down. I got a 2X. I should have sized 2, or I got a 2. I should have gotten a 1. Um, it is too large. I do have to tighten the waist like completely all the ways I possibly can and I just feel like after a while that's just gonna give out um, and it's just gonna not work anymore. So I could easily just wear a belt again but it's just a little bit too flowy uh, or in certain spots too so um, I want to be a bit tighter on my chest and it's just it's too big. So I should have sized down. I would go true to size to this one. I always size up because I'm always feeling insecure about my body. That's my thing. I always size up and then I just am either stuck with something too big or it works out. So this I would have stuck with my one. I recommend just getting your true to size, um, but it's adorable, super cute. I will be sizing down because I love it. I, I can't wait to wear this with like Converse or sneakers or slides. Like it's just like a perfect mom dress to me, but still like cool with like sunglasses and some jewelry, you know, I love it. Okay, the next thing i'm on the fence with this one so i want you guys to tell me it's adorable it's beautiful the quality is great i just don't know how i like it on me so i need to know it's this beautiful um tie-dye almost but it kind of looks like clouds <laughs> um linen style almost fabric little dress there are pockets again because again why not and then the straps do tie at the top um, and the it goes into kind of like a V shape in the front and then the back is just straight There is some elasticity in the back to stretch out, but there's no like stretch or give in the actual fabric um, It's really beautiful. It is super beautiful. I think it's so fun for summertime Especially for someone who has a deeper skin tone or a nice tan. I feel like it's just gonna Pop like right against your skin that being said. I feel like I was like Casper <laughs> I look so pale. It makes me think of the Casper cover art from like the 90s. Um, just like because he was like white, but then there was like the aura around him or whatever that was like a light blue. I feel like just I look like Casper when I wear it. So I could always just put a tanner on, no big deal, but I just don't know if it's worth 
worth it. So let me know what you guys think, if you like it on me, if you don't, because I don't know if I want to keep it or not, I'm on the fence. It's beautiful, I feel like it's so fun, and I haven't really found like something like this. I feel like it's nice and unique. I feel like that's something that's so nice about Tord, especially for plus size bodies, is like you can find some just beautiful, unique pieces that are harder to find, especially for plus size bodies. So um, just let me know what you think. This was $69.50, you definitely didn't pay that. Um, I never pay full price at Torrid because it's so expensive. I think I got this for 30% off too. It's adorable. I just don't know. Last but not least, the queen of the crop, in my opinion, is this bad boy. It is so beautiful. It is a kimono. I love a good kimono. Now, this was also $69.50. Again, I didn't pay that. But it's, it's pretty pricey. I'm trying to decide if it's worth it to keep it, but it is so pretty. <laughs> um, I got this beautiful mustard or mustard yellow kimono, and it's flowy. There's just little random lace detailing. The sleeves are nice and flowy. They're kind of a flutter sleeve on, but they're actually not an actual flutter sleeve, but on they kind of flutter a little bit. Um, it does tie at the waist, and when you wear this, it looks like a dress. Like you can easily just wear leggings or shorts or something underneath it um, because it is so cumbersome and it comes to that clothes. Like it is, it's beautiful. I love it. I did get this in a two. Um, it did say that it ran small. I did get it in two, which I'm glad I did because it did. They did on the like re uh, reviews did say that it runs small, so um, it fits just fine. Like it's not too tight or anything like that. But if I'd gone with the one, it would have been too small. I think um, at least around the bust area. So I'm glad that I went with the two. So I definitely would either suggest sizing up or going true to size, but not sizing down. Um, beautiful. I mean, like it's just, ugh, it's everything I would want, man. I just dream of living in the 70s and having my kids in a BW wagon and we're just randomly going to the beach because apparently I also now live in California and have really long hair and it's all flipped out with like hot rollers and big old glasses and oh my goodness. It just, ugh, I love it. It's beautiful, but it is pricey and I don't know if it's worth the price because I'm worried about this fabric snagging. It's my only concern, but it's beautiful. Just don't know where I stand with it. I feel like this haul was just me being like, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I'm trying to be a lot more conscious of what I end up keeping and bringing home because I do shop so much. Um, and so I'm just trying to be better about it and not make as much of an environmental impact as I can. So I'm just trying to pick out my absolute favorites. And there's always going to be hit or misses when you go shopping and especially online, but I don't know yet. So let me know what you think of the options below, what you think I should absolutely keep, if anything, or what you think I should definitely take back. I love to hear your feedback and your comments. Just be nice about it. You don't got to be mean. Um, and that is it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you some good summer dress options and just some fun easy options just to throw on and go that's really what I'm looking for I feel like that's what the world is looking for right now because we've been in loungewear all the time and we've gotten so adapted to like being comfortable that we don't want anything too fussy um, so I hope these were some good options for you um, I can't wait to just keep looking around seeing what I find please let me know below if you have any other good places that you would like me to shop or if you want me to go back to like Shein or whatnot let me know below and thank you guys so much for watching I so appreciate every view and comment and like and message and all of that that I get it really truly means the world to me so thank you so much um, and yeah, I guess that is it. I will talk to you guys all very soon. Bye, guys.